roots all in. Okay, today we're doing a mukbang, mukbang, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it what I want to call it, okay? So we have hardies. I know some of you South Africans are like, you mind your name. Hardies. Okay. I am currently in Doha, Qatar, part of the UAE, I think you would say. And um, this is all the goodness that I have in front of me. These are all the goodies. Okay. So over here, we have, I think, curly fries and a burger. I don't even I don't even know what this is. And uh, I think this is seven up. Yeah, it's seven up. And um, shrimp. Oh my god, this is a lot, guys. This is too much. This is too much. Can you see? I keep looking at the the side here because I'm checking if you guys can see the food. In all its glory, if you can see the food in all its glory, mm, 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 mm. okay. All right, so we are doing a get to know me, my All right, my dream career, I would say, is anything artistic, anything that involves speaking and being creative and, and, and using the gifts that God has given me. If you had to get another tattoo, what would it be and why? Okay. All right. Now let's get to the eating. If I had to get another tattoo, it would be, I think, Frida. I'd get Frida. She was an activist. She was a feminist and, and an artist on top of that. I'm beautiful. And um, I learned about Frida back in the day in art school in art class. Shout out to Maud Pop, what's up? Um, and um, I always found her revolutionary. She was disabled. She was disabled and um, was bisexual. Back in those days, I mean, hello. She was revolutionary, man. Check her out. Definitely worth a check out. Um, the other questions are, um, would you rather, okay, would you rather always be underdressed or overdressed? Look at me now, I'm flexing in my robe. That's, you could look at it anyway. I could be underdressed or quite frankly overdressed for the okay. Okay, so I think I'm a bit of both, you know what I mean? Because anyone who knows me and knows my sense of style, I can just be a bit too much sometimes. Like, I'll always choose the most dramatic eye colors and all that stuff like that. Or I could just be in um, just a simple dress and sneakers or, you know, sandals. I'm that type of girl. Be in the beach, at the beach. Would you rather be at the beach, or a forest, or the city, or the farm? I think there's too many ors here. There's a bit of grammatical error, but I think I'm a farm girl. Um, I grew up in the farm with my grandparents. Shout out to Indue Indue, uh, in Natal. And um, yeah, those were the happiest Yes, I think. That's where we'd swim in the river, go collect firewood, eat sugar cane for days until our stomachs were aching, climb the mango trees. You know, it was so organic and so real, you know, and that's what I enjoyed about being young and living in the Plata land. I talk too much, I'm failing. There's a store map <laughs> What? Would you rather have your own private island or have your own private jet? I mean, if I can afford my own private island, that means I can afford my own private jet, right? 
Richard Branson? What up? <laughs> okay, I'm going to If on the island, we are afforded to chat, so and so. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. to the raunchy bit of this whole shinies. Guys, look at this. Oh my god. This looks so good. Guys, and I'm not a burger person, just by the way. So, I'm, I, I, I like presenting food for people more than actually eating it. I feel like I gain comfort. Anyone who knows me well knows that I love to cook for people and I love to entertain. And um, being that I am being somebody who is the same. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, we both are into the same thing. We love entertaining and love cooking. So um, I love that. I love that part of food. It just brings me joy and sharing and the conversations that you share around the table, you know. But the presentation of this homeboy is amazing. Okay, let, let's let's get into it and carry on. And let's let's get because this is about to get juicy, okay? We we need to get into the whew, what is your biggest turn on? My biggest turn on has to be eyes. And I'm not just saying this because you know we all we are all like into the whole eyes ah, of the windows to the soul BS. No, it's not about that. It's actually more to do with like somebody's eyes can sort of tell you without them like telling you what they want from you and what they want you to do to them. So <laughs> Oh yeah. This is good. Guys, this is real chicken. Like, these are chicken fillets. These are not, I'm not gonna mention, but this this is chicken. Young China guy. Nguku. 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 What do we mean? For 10 marks, let's discuss. <laughs> no, guys. Anyone who knows me knows this. Of course, I am dating the same sex. Being dating the same sex for... Yo. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, man. Women are just amazing. That's all I have to say. Like Dharma said, the heart of a woman is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shout out to Dharma. Dharma Nikwa Wilson. I'm insecure about my, some parts of my body, I won't lie. Um, my stomach being one of them, which I'm planning to alter. I uh, know it's not because I eat a lot, okay? Literally, I just took a damn two bites out of that burger. Don't come for me. Don't clock me. I'm unclockable. Um, but honestly, it is my stomach. Uh, I had a bit of illness back in the day, and it affected my stomach, so I had to go for surgery, and it affected, you know, how my stomach looked and how I felt about it and the scars and all that jazz. This, this is bomb. This is good. Guys. I 
number. Hmm. Do you believe in soulmates? Okay. I believe in soulmates. Let's take a sip for that one. I believe in soulmates and um <clears throat> how can I put this? I believe that a soulmate can be somebody that you're not with. Don't. The reason why I say this is because sometimes you meet people along the way who just fully understand us and understand us to the core, accept our flaws, accept us at the worst and not our best. And uh, we have that strong bond with them. And I feel like those don't necessarily have to be people that we are in physical relationships with in terms of like your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner. But um, there can also be a friend, an, an individual who helped you grow, um, your sister, your brother, you know what I mean? And we tend to think that soulmates are just individuals we get physical with or date or got physical with and never worked out or the one that got away. Girl, bye. Mm -mm. Uh, I personally believe from my experiences I found mine um, unfortunately for me and somebody I'm with or working towards being with in the long run or with, for the future you know what I mean so I'm happy about that but other than that I have such amazing friends um, that I believe are my soulmates. Like, you know, there's too many to mention. Hey, book guys. How the hell? How the hell? I find it, I fail to buy a burger the way you're supposed to buy it. And the thing is, every time. I have, I eat a burger. See what's happened. The bottom part is sliding because I can never hold it properly. I can never. And then come down, man. You need to listen to the long. But, you know, I like the way they wrap this up. And, okay, now I've messed it up. But it makes sense also it's easy to hold it. And the bun is this nice yellow color that I don't understand. It's flowing. Sees. <laughs> my ride is my ride or die. Okay, the last question. Since we are on our deep note, what is the happiest you've ever felt? Wow, guys, I'm generally a bubbly person, although I've had my fair share of dealing with the sadness. Um, I'm generally usually happy. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm generally. Well, if you don't know, you don't know I'm usually happy. So, I can't say there's one event, but I'd say maybe, <clears throat> I'd say maybe the births of my nephews and nieces always bring me joy. Like, I'm obsessed with the whole um, process of childbirth, you know, carrying, and they're just so adorable. And when they grow up and different stages so I'd say every time I've had one of my nibblings I call them nibblings it's been fun guys I have to stop I have to stop I think peace up peace up eight hand down eight hand down whatever